I've got the power of Grayskull. <laughs> I love this thing. I love it. Jared Poland. Fro knows photo dot com here with my think tank retrospective 30 it's been a few months since i've been using it so at the time of making this video it's been about four months uh, since i made the transition to this bag and i want to break down what i carry in it this is my number one bag when it comes to what i have for think tank i've got just about all of their bags but this is the top of the this is the one that i use the most easiest to shoot out of i use it for the weddings um, I like when I'm on a, an assignment and I'm using this bag. Now getting me to the assignment, I use some of the rolling bags and sometimes I use the Slingomatic, but the go-to bag is this guy. And why don't we run through what I have in it? What is in my bag? Let's find out. Well, as always, the mainstay is the D3S, Nikon D3S with a 24 to 70. This is what I keep on the camera, 24 to 70, 2.8. I keep this on the D3S and I keep it right in the middle pouch. That's what goes on here. In this left pouch, I have the 70 to 200 2.8 Nikon VR2. It stays in there. Then I have the, falling apart on me, 14 to 24 Nikon 2.8 and that completes the Hebrew Trinity. The Hebrew Trinity takes up the three main spots of this bag because they are the three best lenses that I think everybody should own or aspire to own. Uh, they're my favorite lenses, in my opinion. And that takes care of what I keep in the bag in terms of the cameras. Um, when I shoot out of it, I basically take the hood off, put it the other way, because I use the hood all the time, stand it up in the bag. That's one thing that catches a little bit uh, that I don't like all the time about this bag is sometimes it's hard to with one hand to put the lens back in the bag and get it out without it getting caught up on something inside I mean it's minor but it's something that in the old bag even though the old bag was old and blocky which is this bad boy from Tamrac I used to use I used this for 12 years my mom bought this for me uh, it was a gift a long time ago um, it used to stand up well but that bag doesn't do everything as good as this bag that's why I use this think tank bag now uh, so that's one thing I, I want maybe in future bags to have easier ways to drop in and, and, and access those lenses and put them back. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? Always have business cards, always a good thing. My Think Tank Pixel Pocket Rocket, I hook it onto this hook right here. Um, just so that it, if it does hang out of the bag, it's not gonna I'm not gonna lose it, it's not gonna fall out, so it's hooked in. So I love having that right there. Uh, I've got my two extra batteries, because when I shoot video, it chews through batteries like no other, the D3S, but it also lasts forever when you're shooting photos. Gum. I like having gum in the bag. It's always good to carry around, especially when you're walking or working and talking to people. A Nikon foot for my flash. Mmm. The flash is right here. So, I'll get to that in a minute. I always carry around my all-access passes, my lanyards, you know, it's always good to throw them on and wear them from time to time with my earplugs, bottle opener for when you're backstage and somebody needs beer opened, and I've got my Cree light that I use. Uh, it's good for when you're in the dark. Let's go here. Flash, SB800 is always in the bag. I can fit a fisheye, 16 millimeter fisheye, 85 1.4 AFD. That's in that one pouch. This pouch is also useful for when you put in a D3S or an extra body. Or if I'm carrying around this Canon and want to do, use it for video, that's going right in there with that 16 to 35. Geotis Rocket Air, always good to have in the bag. 105 Macro VR, always good to have in there. And I'm sure you're asking yourself, is this heavy? Yes, it can be. Uh, but I don't always carry all these lenses around. I just want to show you what I could fit in there. And also a 50 1.4 AFD. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven professional lenses fit into this bag very well. Back here, oh, a great feature is this strap. I love this carry strap. I just grab and go with it. Also, I turn my Velcro off so that I never seal this up fully because it's just I don't like the Velcroing noise and... It just, I want to get to my stuff quicker. 
back here in this back zip. Uh, I'm sure you could fit an iPad. I personally wouldn't put mine in there. I have my Black Rapid RS Sport in there. That's where I keep that so that I remember to use it when I'm out on a shoot. And, you know, other than that, it's, a, it's, it's everything. And then one other thing that I've just discovered, when I'm carrying these microphones around and I don't want to put them in the bag, I've got this, what is this, a lightning fast? This is a lightning fast from Think Tank that there's these hooks, these loops right here. And I don't know if this is what they were for, but I literally hooked the bag into there like it was on their belt system. And there you go. You have a, another thing to carry around on the outside. So I like that. So that's really everything. It's just showing you that it, it carries everything. I'm really pleased with it. That's why I continue to use it. It fits all of these lenses. If I want to carry that with me, put it down, shoot out of. It's great to shoot out of. It's great to travel with. A little tougher on the back when you're walking all day with it, but it's always a trade-off. This is easier to shoot out of than the Slingomatic 20. The Slingomatic 20 is easier to carry around with you. Uh, doesn't fit as much gear as this fits. But on a wedding day, this is what I will be carrying around. Uh, concert day, this is what I'm carrying around also to shoot in the pit because I can easily access my equipment. So that is what I think about this bag. Uh, and that is it. Jared Polin, froknosephoto.com. See ya.